Hey YouTube, welcome back to Fun Employment. You guys, I am a little bit scared. So let me tell you why. Um, due to a bunch of crazy scheduling and the fact that I booked an acting job, yay! I will be flying home for Thanksgiving. Now, as you know, I am dirt cheap and I'm flying spirit. And this time, I'm not even going to buy a carry-on bag just because I don't want to spend the money. So, I am going to try to fit about two weeks worth of clothing in their personal item bag size. I've flown Spirit a lot, but I've also flown a good amount of other airlines. So I'm pretty used to like how it all goes. They normally don't check for personal items, but I feel like if it looks a little big, they're more likely to be like, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be that busy this year, obviously because of COVID. So we will be using one of my favorite bags. It's like this big carpet bag. Her name is Juanita, and um, she kind of fits the dimensions. She's about like 20 by eight. But what's great is she's a squishy bag, so I should be able to smash her in the personal item thing if I need to. But it's also great because she expands. This will be my only luggage. I'm not gonna bring a purse, I'm not gonna bring anything like that. So you guys are gonna get to see how I fly, which is mad ghetto sometimes, but you know what? It is what it is. We're unemployed now, so all is acceptable. And then I'll pretty much have everything else on my person, like headphones, my phone, my wallet. I guess I'll stuff a book in there. I might carry a book. They're not gonna stop me if I carry a book. Uh, but I also don't have a lot of self-control and to have one book is super rare for me. I usually have five. So this is gonna be an exercise in restraint. <laughs> first things first, when you're packing, a bag you want to roll things up i have taken on my bigger items and pretty much you just roll them up so i have this sweatshirt here fold it in half like this flat kind of and then you just want to roll it as tight as possible my grandpa my mom's dad was in the Air Force and so he taught her how to roll items and pack them you know so your packing is optimal so she has taught me that and so that is what I'm going to do it's also weird because obviously I'm flying from LA to New Jersey and New Jersey is a lot colder than LA is right now so you gotta pack thicker clothing which also makes carrying your one piece of luggage more difficult. Oh, and I'm also trying to buy another sweater, but it's okay because I will also be wearing some clothes. So whatever doesn't fit, best believe I will be putting it on my person. This is obviously the biggest item, so it needs to go on the bottom. Okay, so now the bag kind of has a shape, some feet to it, which is good. A hack that I saw on YouTube, which was really, really cool, was putting your personal items in a shoe. All those things in this shoe. Perfect. I'm getting a little nervous. We're already getting kind of full, but not really. I feel like the most important thing when packing is knowing what fits where and is this the best way to do this. So, we literally just have sweaters and shoes in here and we're already feeling stuffed. But what's great is everything else that goes in here is clothes and clothes are very squishable. Um, and then toiletries of course on the top and then <laughs> I guess I won't be reading any books. So now we just stuff stuff in here not gonna lie if things don't fit in here then i'm just going to take my rolly suitcase and see what happens story time one time i think i was flying back here to la i had overpacked my bag and i don't know like what happened but somehow my bag like exploded open and all of my underwear fell out uh, onto like the ground in you know at LAX so I'll tell you one thing flying dirt cheap builds character 
So if that's what you're looking to do, you're, you're in good hands. Just follow my example. Okay, all of my pajamas are in. My pajamas and lounge clothes, clothes are in and we still have a good amount of space. So now it's just fitting in all of my pants, all of my shirts, and my toiletries. Oh, I have also been the person who wears like 18 layers of clothes when uh, I fly. One, because it gets cold and you need to have clothes to like cuddle up into. But two, obviously, because I don't want to pay for a bag. Might, maybe, probably, hopefully, maybe work. Also, what's great about a soft bag is a good slap will bring you down two inches. So, just gotta be prepared to beat your bag up. Crop tops, baby, great for shoe stuffing. Just stuff that shoe with a crop top. The upside to having big feet, you can fit multiple shirts in one shoe. And the shoe has maintained its integrity. If all of my stuff doesn't fit, like you can definitely get away with just throwing a sweater over your arm. And then I've been super trifling. I will stuff the sleeves of the sweater with other clothing items and then tie the sweater around my waist. No one seems to bother me. And I've managed to not lose anything that way. I feel like I'm out of frame. Oh, she doesn't want to close. Okay, well, now we're, now we're gonna get to the fun part. Smashing stuff. What I am doing this time, obviously because I'm pressed on space, is I'm gonna combine my makeup stuff with my toiletry stuff, um, whatever I can fit. So those are pretty much my toiletries and makeup combined. And then this is just jewelry. I'm not much of a jewelry girl, but you never know, you know? That's pretty much makeup and jewelry and toiletries. This is like a palette. This has eyeshadow and blush in it. So I just take this and deodorant. Flat iron, the amount of liquid that you can take on a plane is like three to four ounces to get through TSA. So this will be my perfume for the entire time. Journal, Bible, journal thing. And then my laptop. I won't be putting sleeve on my laptop to put it in this bag, but obviously I'm not leaving today. So now we're just gonna manage to shove all of this into the bag. So my laptop and this paperwork. Guys, I have never tried to pack so much in such a tiny bag. Deodorant, jewelry, toiletries. We might be at our max right now. Uh, and it's a shame because I love this carpet bag. So let's see if we can get this bag closed now. And I usually can fit a lot of stuff in this bag, but honestly, as a personal item, it is just not gonna work. I'm gonna have to wheel out my little rolly suitcase. Let me just switch everything out real quick. Okay, so I have managed to shove everything from the carpet bag into this little carry-on bag. My only fear is this carry-on bag, I think it's tinier than most carry-on bags. However, I do wonder if it is still over the size uh, issue thing, especially because it has these little feet things. So here are our options. We can risk it and go to the airport with this and see what happens. I feel like it would be fun. Uh, but if the flight attendant asks, we might have to pay for an extra bag. Or we could just pay for a bag. Nobody wants to do that. But if you get, you know, if you have a problem, then you're gonna have to pay for the bag at the airport, which could be more expensive. Or I could wear about 5% of this clothing, shove it all back into the carpet bag, zip what will fit into the carpet bag closed, and just have a rather toasty flight. Lastly, now this one, this one I know for sure will work, but I feel like it's a little sketch. I can put whatever I can stuff into the carpet bag. Then I can get a regular like shopping bag and put whatever's left over into the shopping bag, go through TSA fine, get to the gate, and they'll just think that the shopping bag that I have is just 
a bag with food and other stuff from the other vendors in the airport and so they won't count that as a bag and you'll be fine to slide on through. Not that I've done that before or anything. So I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I have no clue, you guys, but you will find out next week on next week's episode of Unemployment because I will be taking you to the airport um, and I will document the entire journey, including whether or not one of these plans for getting all this stuff through and to the East Coast works. Don't forget to like this video if you like this video. Comment, click the bell so you can be notified of all of our new Lisa's videos. I'll be starting a new series next week, so don't forget to check in for that. And subscribe. And wish me luck as I try to figure out how to pack all of this stuff. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!